Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is well. Today we have a little unboxing with a few items that I picked up through January until now, basically. Actually, one of the items I actually got for Christmas and I've been waiting to unbox it so that I can use it. I mean, so I just want to kind of get those open so I can get those bad boys on. If you're new here, my name is Devin McKenzie Smith. I make videos on fashion, pop culture, vlogs, and everything in between. So please consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so the first item is a pair of trainers. These are the ones I actually got for Christmas. And they are from, I am really badly dyslexic, just so you know, I'm just gonna put that out there on the channel so I might get things wrong. And I also don't actually know the name of them. I think they're called Asis. So this like cool, spongy, silver black and like a lime green color trainer. They're really comfy, I tried them on before. But they've got a black sole, as you can see there. Just zoom in. And they're just like a really cool, cool color. I think they'd be really nice for summer. And I'm also taking a trip to Madrid soon. So I think these would be perfect for them. I hate wearing new trainers when it's like wet and cold. So they get dirty really quick. Like I hate that. So I've kind of put it off also for the unboxing, but also just so I don't ruin the trainers. Um, so these are really cute. These were... I think they were £130, but I managed to get them when they were just on sale. So I got them for £100, but I also went into Selfridges recently and saw them there for £65. So they've actually dropped again, so they're actually pretty affordable. I actually picked these up in a size 8. I have this issue with trainers, but it's not an issue. It's more of a me problem, to be honest. I like to buy trainers that are too small for me. Don't ask me why. I just think they look better on your feet. They just make you look cuter, snug, finish off your lines better. So I've tried to stop doing that. So I'm probably, I used to be a size nine. I've kind of shrunk my feet down to a size eight. So these are actually a size eight. They're actually the correct size for me. They also have them in different colors. So they had them in blue. I think they also had them in like all white as well. So if you are looking for a different color, if this are a bit too, too much for you, then they do have them in different colors also. Okay, so the second pair of trainers I have are from Balenciaga. So basically, I needed black trainers. My friends keep saying to me, you can't keep wearing white trainers out and nights out and stuff like, it's just inappropriate, they get ruined. And I was like, fair enough. So I was looking for black trainers and I was like, I'm not spending a crazy amount of money on black trainers. So I ended up getting black TNs, but I'd seen these and I was like, I still want those even though they're not black. And I kind of got obsessed and a year had gone past. I thought I still want them. So clearly it must be worth the purchase. So I got the Balenciaga Track 2 trainers in, they're like a creamy gold black colorway. They're really cool. It's in size there on the back. These are a size eight. I ended up managing to get them from a reseller, which is very lucky because the retail price of these were like 720 pounds. And I thought that is a bit too steep for trainers. Like I will spend that amount on a bag, but on trainers, I was like, no, sir. So I man managed to get them from a reseller. She couldn't bring them back in time so that the receipt was invalid. So she was trying to sell them. So she sold them to me for a steal of a price. So I had to get these. Okay, last but not least, we have the bag. And the bag that we got is, let me take the box down, a Telfar. So Telfar is an up and coming designer. It's a black owned business. So always got to support. This bag I got about three weeks ago. It was pretty hard to get, I admit, because these bags sell out in literally seconds. So one of my other friends who has a Telfar, I messaged him and I was like, how do I get this telephone bag? Because when it drops, I need it. He was like, register online and subscribe. And they send you like email notifications when they're having new drops and stuff like that. So I did that and was waiting by my phone. I think it was like 5 p.m. Eastern time. No, I can't remember what it was. Anyway, it was like 5 p.m. UK time. So I was waiting by my phone. I even put an alarm on it for the last minute when it was ticking down. It was like tick, 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 bing. I was like, boom. Dropped my purchase, put my card details in really quick and I managed to actually get the bag, which I was relieved about because I actually didn't think I was going to get it. Some of my other friends were like, you can do it, but I don't think you're going to get it. So you can try. And I was like, oh, but I did get it. So let me show you the bag before I keep blabbering on. So it comes in this dust bag. It's just a plain white one with the embossed 
Telfar sign. And then it comes like this, it's pretty much flat. So, woo. So this is it. So it's the medium black Telfar shopping bag. It's pretty spacious. One of my friends is actually gonna get the large and I said to him, I was like, I don't know if you wanna get the large, you know, because it looks huge. Um, so I think I did actually convince him to get the medium. So I got the medium. It's pretty spacious. It's got this strap on here. Let me take this off. Uh, so obviously, as you can see, it's got two short straps and then it has the longer two straps for the crossbody moment. Should let me try this. Ooh, yes. So it has the cross crossbody straps. I'm not really a crossbody kind of girl, so I'm not sure if I'll even use it, but it's obviously good to have. Um, it has like a little pop stud, just like this on the inside. And then it has a Telfor sign just down there. Let me move the tag. Telfor sign there on the inside with the zipper going across. It's pretty roomy actually, let me open it out. Put space wise inside. It is pretty roomy and then it's just flat along the bottom like so i'm probably gonna have it like straps down like that and then just for like with the top handles i much prefer a top handle but it's actually really cute it's pretty roomy i think i can put my laptop in it well i know i can fit my laptop on it and a pair of trainers any little bits of paperwork and stuff like that i'm probably gonna insert me over there in the corner just showing you off a little bit more of the bag but it's pretty roomy. I'm pretty happy with the purchase. It's black, so obviously it's going to go with everything. Telfar bags do come in so many different colours, like the black, the white, the silver, the blue, the green, the gold, the yellow, the pink. Like They have every single colour possible known to man. So if you can get a hold of them, if you wait, register like I did online, I'll write in the comments. Actually, message me in the comments if you need to know how I did it, the full thing purchased in the bag and I will let you know but they do have so many different colors if you don't want black there's also way more other options that you can get but yeah I've not really used this bag yet I've been dying to use it but I will be using it this week when I'm making a few trips around London and stuff so I will be definitely taking this bag I hope you like this video and you like the unboxings please tell me if you'd like me to do more videos and stuff like this or not if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and I will hopefully see you in the next one bye guys